All right, the next failure that we're going to look at is a loss of brake. Uh, in this case, we did find that the brake lever itself is broken. The brake lever, you'll notice, has two holes at the end of the brake lever. Ours does not have that. So we're going to disassemble the unit. We have to go under the case to replace the brake lever. So we're going to start by removing the drive unit with a T25. This is also a good time to check the function of the CVT. You want to make sure that you've got spring and it does move freely. Once the drive unit is out, we'll set it aside. The next step is with a T20. We're going to remove these three screws on the driven unit. Remove the cap. To remove the next piece, we've got to press down to release the, pr the spring pressure and pull out the pin. We remove the base. The next step is we've got to remove this nut. And this is held in place 65 foot-pounds. You will need the, the tool from General Transmission to remove this nut. Retain the pin. also a washer and remove the cover. The next step is to remove, being very careful, there are eight roller bearings and a spring. Again with the T25 wrench we're going to remove the cover bolts. The two top cover bolts also have washers. And the cover just lifts off. And here is the uh, brake lever that we're going to be replacing. You can see that it is broken. And the spring is not attached. With T25, we're going to remove the two screws. Then with a flat screwdriver, we're going to pry gently on the bottom side of the brake lever, and it lifts off. Replacing the brake lever, make sure that the O-ring is in place. Simply slides down and taps into place. This time we're going to reinstall the spring and it goes in the second hole and over this this is also a good time to make sure that you're centered your spring is centered here and that your orientation for your CVT is in the right location 
and then we're simply going to put the cover back on, the driven unit back on, and the drive unit back on. Two top bolts have washers. Our next step is the spring. Our cover with the ball bearings. Our cover. At this time, we're going to reuse the pin. A tool from General Transmission. We're going to torque the nut to 65 foot-pounds. We have the riser plate, spring, and cover. At this point, we have to depress the spring, install the pin, and the cover. The three T20 screws go in next and torque to one and a half foot pounds of pressure. Next, we install the belt and the drive kit. Making sure that we have our belt keeper to the outside, our speed screw to the outside. And then we're going to reinstall the T25 bolts using blue Loctite and two and a half foot-pounds of torque. This time we reattach the spring from the brake pedal and the repair is finished.